Hi guys, it's Trish from Trish's Card Club, live on Monday night from Chattanooga, Tennessee. How are you? What is going on in your world? So there's nobody here yet, so I'm just going to vent. So Facebook made a bunch of huge changes to their platform a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, and every Every time I try to do something, I have to relearn it. It drives me crazy because it takes forever. Uh, a couple weeks ago, only half my video recorded. So I don't know. So the people that see it on YouTube didn't even get a full report. So, but anyways, oh, I got a bunch of people out there. Hey, you guys, nice to see everybody. Teresa and Anne-Marie and Cindy and Judy and Nancy Peavy. Thank you all for coming on board. I was just hemming and harming about Facebook changing the platform, but I think I got it. I think we're relatively um, even tonight. So now <clears throat> it is a shameless plug, but it's also so that I can break off some of the glare. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Patty and Mary, I think I said hello to you, Mary, but just in case I'm giving a devil hello. So I have my Trish N at stampinup.net because when I take it away, you'll see that there's this huge glare on the stamp set and, and the dies that I'm using. So I'm just putting it back down till I start getting ready to use them because I have a couple of announcements. One announcement is for our class that we do on Zoom. We had a fantastic Zoom class last month. So thank you to the ladies that participated. There is no Zoom in the month of August because I'm going to be away. But our Zoom in September is going to be a card kit using a stamp set that I, can you believe I do not have it out? I'll keep talking and see if I can find it in the catalog fast enough to put a picture up of it. Um, so it's going to be $35 for the stamp set and three cards, and we're going to make the three cards together, and that includes shipping. If you don't want the stamp set and you want to use a stamp set that you have at home, that's completely acceptable. Then it's $10 for the cards, and the only reason I have to charge that ridiculous amount for the three cards is the shipping part of it, because the shipping is just so expensive. So that's the that's how I had to come up with those amounts. So, um, and I can't believe I didn't get the stamp. The I'll, I'll show it again when I send out the email. I'll make sure that I have it. Uh, of course you know it has flowers, because that's kind of how I roll. So it's flowers and it will be um, mostly one layer stamping some really really pretty samples in the catalog and i found some really great samples online so we'll have a lot of fun making that stamp set. did i find it yes i found it okay so it's this stamp set right here it's called simply fabulous it's got some great word stamps in it and it's got some great images and so that's what we're going to be doing for that zoom class again 35 dollars you can Venmo me or send me a check. And if you already have a stamp set or don't want to get the stamp set, if you're a demonstrator and you want to get it on your own, that's the stamp set to get. Or just have a stamp set that has small flowers and leaves from anything in your stash and that will work. So that's my Zoom announcement. My other announcement's not quite as fun to share. Everyone knows, because I've said it a few times, I think that I am was planning on coming to Orlando in September and Karen was going to be hosting an event at her house, but that has changed. Karen's schedule has a clash. My schedule has a class. So that whole wonderful opportunity to see you guys has gone by the wayside, which is such an incredible bummer. I'm sure it'll come down again. It probably wouldn't be till November. Um, I don't know exactly. I just, I don't know my schedule that far enough out, but as soon as I know it, I will let you guys know and then we will plan for another get together. So I just want to put that out there. I know I need to send an email out, so I'll get that all in email. But for you guys that come and listen to my video, I want to give you that those two updates. All right, so we're going to start with the card making because that's what you really came here for. We're going to be using flowering tulips and the matching dies. And I will tell you, you guys, it is weird to make a card when you are not in the season of tulips and this is definitely not the season of tulips i know judy it is such a bummer i'm really disappointed but unfortunately i think we planned it out too far just based on life schedules so now now i have to find this stamp set in the catalog so i can show you what happened was this morning when i was trying to decide what to do for a card i just did not have a lot of inspiration and i thought wait a minute why am i struggling stampin up has an entire catalog of ideas that I could just copy or case or use as an inspiration. So that's what I did. I grabbed the catalog and I decided I would, um, I'm not going to show you the card until the end, but I just want to make sure I get the page of it. 
I grabbed the catalog, went through the catalog with the stamps that I had and said, oh, we haven't used flowering tulips in a long time. And this was quite an investment for a set, so let's use it tonight. So that's what we're going to do. I've already done the die cutting offline so that you guys don't have to wait and watch. So I'll just um, stamp up so you can see what the plan is and how, uh, how we're going to go about making this card. The other thing that I'm doing tonight is I'm using in colors because I went on and on and on about how much I love the in colors and then I've hardly used them this year so I'm cracking down on myself and saying okay more in colors need to use more in colors so tonight the three colors that we're going to be using are Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party and Sweet Sorbet so those are the three colors that we're going to be using tonight so we're going to start with Sweet Sorbet because that's the color that I chose to make the tulips with so I'm going to stamp so you'll see what I did I, I, you won't see the um, the 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 big shot, but I but I'm, I'm sorry, the Stampin' and Boss machine. But I did I did use it to cut out the flowers. Now <clears throat> these flowers look in, immensely alike, and I just don't know if I'm going to ever be able to show it on camera. I don't know if I can get it up close enough to show you guys. But there's a single hole here, and there's a double hole here and here. And I don't know if Stampin' Up! did that. I don't know if it's intentional, but this is the first layer with one hole, and this is the second layer with the second hole, because this is a two-step stamping stamp set. So I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but I'm glad that they did it. So I will take the Tahitian Tide with my first stamp. I'll stamp off one, and then I'll stamp it. I will stamp off again, because I need two for this card, and stamp it again. Then I'm gonna take my full on stamp and stamp it and my full on stamp and stamp it then I needed in the parakeet party I needed the leaves so I opened that and I needed two leaves to die cut one and two and then I actually took the cut emboss machine mini and I lined up my dies, ran it through, lined up my dies, ran it through, and I got all the pieces and parts that I need for the card. So there's that. Okay, so now we're going to set this aside because we're not ready for that yet. Now we're going to make the main body of the card. The main body of the card is a four inch by four inch square. Okay, and this card is uh, five and a half by 11. So that's the base of the card. It's just a piece of cardstock cut in half and then scored in half. And that's how all card bases are made. Whether you score them this way to open like this or you score them to open like this, that's, oops, I'm showing you the card. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Trisha. Oh well, now you might have had a sneak peek. I should be showing you this one. Oh my goodness, I am losing it tonight, girls. <sighs> Hey, Patty. I mean, I'm Pat. Hey, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. And Miss Julie, good to see you. Okay. Well, that was a goof. I wonder how bad that was. You probably saw everything. But alas, you still are stuck with me to go through it. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our stems. So I first started off by just kind of randomly stamping the stems. And I'm going to do a little one over here. And then I might come back and fill in some more depending on, depending on how I do with my stamping part of it. Now I'm going to stamp up some more of the flowers. This is another flower that's a two-stepper. So stamp off, on, stamp off. And I only want half of it to show, so that's good. This is the second part of it. That's that one. Now on that other one, let's see. I want one to be this one. Oh no, I don't have to do that. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Those are what my other parts were. So forget that. Forget that part. Let's put these down. And I'm just doing that to, so I can uh, do arrangements. So now I need to do some stem, uh, some leaves. Okay. So for leaves, oh, look what I just did. People, where is my mojo tonight? And of course I don't have any wipes because I didn't think I would need any wipes tonight. But alas, there are blessings all around us and living in a small space is one of them. 
It doesn't take very long to fix it. All right, let's try again. Let's see, let's do this. Oops, got a little, little remnant of red left on there. And let's do this. Okay, that's a little better. And we'll do, we really know how these leaves go. I'm gonna just alternate it right here, like that. And we'll do a leaf down here. Hmm. Oh, look at people. I just, all right, enough of that nonsense. <laughs> Anybody else have one of those days? Is there a full moon out there and someone didn't tell me about it? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. I need to get something on this stem, on this stem though. Let me see if I can get a little leaf down here. Oh yeah, that will work. That will work good. Okay. Now, taking these off, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to cut this into four pieces. So I'll take this get my cutter in the correct position. I'm going to move these ink pads because I think I'm done stamping and I don't want to wear the ink any more than I already am. Okay. And I'm going to cut this in fours. So I'm going to cut it, can you see it, at two inches. And then I'm going to twist it and I'm going to cut it at two inches again because this is the design of the card in the catalog. And then I'm just gonna take it off, lay this to the side. So I would ask how you guys are doing and what's going on, but I feel like I really need to concentrate because I'm, I'm just not finding my groove tonight. Okay, now I'm gonna put these on, since this is for, this is four and a quarter, and these this was a four inch square. I know to get these even, I want about a quarter inch on all, on these two sides. That's how I know I'll be able to kind of space my thing evenly. So that's one. That's pretty close. I think I need to go up a little bit, but that, that's gonna work. I'm not, I don't need to change it. I got a little bit too much on the top. I need to go up a little higher, but. No worries, it's all gonna be good in the end. You'll see. So then you kind of have this window frame look, which is kind of cool. So there you have that, I like that. Now, I'm gonna take my flowers and I'm gonna take off my dimensionals, which I've already put on, but I didn't undo. I should have maybe undone the backs because it takes me a while, because I use the little ones. So I have an exciting stamping up class coming this Friday night. I'm very excited about. So we're gonna put that there and we'll put it kind of tilted that way. And I think I have all repeat customers coming. I think I only have three this month because two of the ladies are traveling. But one of the ladies who's been super nice to me, her name is Tara. She's really just, just been a super nice person. If anybody out there knows Flo, um, she reminds me a lot of Flo. She's very well connected. She knows everyone and everything. So that's, she's been really helpful for me. And so she invited someone else. So she may, there may be one more person coming. So we'll see about that. But I got an exciting email and then a phone call from a person that lives in Red Bank, which is maybe 20 minutes from where I live, saying that her demonstrator from Stampin' Up! Has, has no longer doing it. And could she become my customer? Well, I called her right away because I was so excited. So it's, and we chatted for about 20 minutes. She's the nicest, sweetest person. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to hook up eventually and do some stamping together. And then yes, that all happened on Friday, uh, Saturday, on Saturday. And then yesterday, she emailed me, her, the lady's name, the customer's name is Pat, and she emailed me that she has four friends that are interested and also um, having me as their demonstrator. So I was very, very excited. So you guys remember I was saying how my goal is 10 and that's what I've been praying for. And God has been so good because I may, may have 10. So I'm really excited about that. So, all right, there's the card. I don't know what you guys can see in terms of the dimensions that are on there, but it really makes a big difference. And that little um, kind of goof right there kind of gets faded in. 
I think if I were going to do the card again, I would do one more. Let me see. I think I could do it by just stealing from this card since you've already seen this card. It doesn't really matter. I would do one more leaf right here. Yeah. Um, let me get some dimensionals on it and then um, actually the dimensionals that are on it are, are they, they'll stay on there. Let me take this part off so you can't see that. Yeah, it needed one more. Okay, I like that a lot. So there's that. And then the next step is to make a tag. And let me tell you who I'm making my tag for. On Saturday, Stephen and I had to go and we picked out um, our lighting. And we met the nicest lady named Joyce. You guys, she was so funny. I kept telling her she's like a marriage counselor. Because Stephen and I have very different tastes. Although he has much better. He really is a designer and has much better taste than I do, but I kind of know what I like. So she was coaching us through it all. So she did a really, really good job, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So I need to send her a thank you card for how sweet she was. So that's what this card is ultimately going to be. So let's see. How does this go? Let me, let me do a test stamp so I don't, yeah, okay. So I'm going to put that right here. Oh, people. I don't like when I do that. These stamps need to be trimmed a little bit. If anyone buys this stamp set, it's called Go To Greetings. I love it because I love all the choices, but the red rubber, look how far up the red rubber is. So we'll just flip that over and tap it more carefully. Yeah. But I, when I'm done and I get the labels on, I'm gonna trim that down so that doesn't happen again. And then I'm gonna be a little more careful when I stamp But There we go. Okay, so that's that, and then what I'm going to do is take my scissors, and I'm going to cut it down shorter, and I'm going to make a little tail. Now, we do have a punch for this, but I don't have it over here, and since I want to make, not make you guys wait forever in a day, um, that's going to go there. So let me get this out of the way, and I'm going to put that on with dimensionals. It's going to be a little bit awkward over the leaf, so I think I'm going to try to put the dimensionals after the leaf so I don't have a problem with that. Let me see if I did that okay. Um, nope, let me take these off and put them further back. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it where I need it. I've lost my computer screen. It's gone completely blank, so I don't even know if you guys are still there. I hope you are. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even recording. Hmm, I, I wonder if I'm recording because nothing moved on my computer screen. Well, that stinks. Hmm. Are you guys still out there? Well, Amory, oh good, so, yes we are. Okay, thanks Judy, I don't know what happened. It just didn't record. Okay, well, thanks you guys. I, I was so busy working my card that I forget to look up sometimes and then that's what happens. Okay, so there's my thank you. So I can send her that. And then I have some of the new in color ribbon, which is not really ribbon, but I made a little bow to tie everything in. By putting that there and that ladies is the card that I gave you a sneak peek of and now you can see it in the end so I as I said I cased this card because I wanted I just didn't have any mojo to decide uh, thanks Anna I'm glad thank you guys for letting me know that you can see me and you can see the card I didn't have any mojo and I did I don't ever feel bad or worry about not having mojo because we have a whole catalog filled with, cat, with ideas. So this stamp set that I copied from was this one right here. This was the card that I copied. So it's pretty similar to what was in the catalog. I just changed the color of the base because I wanted to use all in colors. And I wasn't loving the base, but after I did it and I put the bow on, I was like, nope, I, I really do like that. And then we have these embellishments that are in the in colors, but the thing is they're not they're not really, um, these are the in colors. These, these are the in colors. They're called matte decorative dots, but they're not exactly the in colors. So at first I was gonna use the Tahitian blue, but it's so off, it looks like baby blue to me, that I decided that I would use uh, the sor sweet sorbet ones and put those on just to give it some dimension. Now does that, nope, didn't get the, 
Didn't get the glue dot off with that one. Let me try again. There it is. So I'm going to do one here. One down here. And I'll do one over here. There we go. And that is going to go to Miss Joyce to thank her for being so sweet and so patient with Stephen and I as we worked on our cards. So, all right. I think that's it. That's the card for the night. Oh, it was a crazy getting through this one, you guys. But thank you for saying that you guys like the card. I really appreciate it. Let me see. Miss Cindy, I already saw the... Oh, Miss Becky, nice to see you. I want to make sure that I'm not forgetting anybody. Um, I think I got everybody. I know, Pat. I, I wonder if the going in and out of focus on my camera had something to do. I don't know why it does that. The, again, another challenge with the with the Facebook platform. I just don't... I don't know how to stop it, so I don't know how to make it work. So, um I think I've got everything. I think I've note. I think I've, I've said hello to everybody. I gave the announcements. I think that's it. This was, <laughs> you know what it is, you guys. I'm just gonna fess it up right here and now. I have football on my mind. This coming Thursday night is the start of preseason, and I cannot wait. I am so excited. And then foot, college football is just around the corner. I think their first game is September first, and I. I'm just really excited. So I have to stop thinking about football and focusing on my life until football season starts. That's all there is to it. All right. I miss you guys. I love you guys. I will see you eventually. Hopefully it will just inspire you all to come to Zoom. And you always know on Zoom, you never have to stamp. Just come and show up. You don't have to you just come and socialize and have fun. There's never any pressure to stamp. It's really just an opportunity for us to see each other and share stories and catch up. So that's all it is. The stamping is just a big old bonus. So thanks, you guys. You have a really good Monday night and a good week. Remember, around here, we make it and we mail it. And I hope that you'll be out there making and mailing it. I love you guys tons, too. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.